Hey guys, welcome to my channel! <laughs> yeah! This here is Messages from Divine Masculine. Oh, look at what Divine Masculine did. Divine Masculine is responsible for this candle. I just know it. I just know Divine Masculine is behind this. And of course, leave it to me, Divine Feminine, that's me, to fix what Divine Masculine has done. Isn't that what we're always doing? Divine Masculine comes in, screws with everything, and then we gotta pick up the pieces. Oh my goodness. Divine Masculine, you little brat. Well, nevertheless, we love Divine Masculine. Why? I don't know. Divine Masculine is a big, dopey oof. And we just love that guy or gal. As is the case with me, my so-called Divine Masculine is female. How about that? And a pretty cute one at that. Super girly. You know, her nails are always perfect. Hair is always perfect. I did not know that getting your eyelashes done was a thing until I met her. How do you like that? So, how can we call her Divine Masculine? Well, that's just a naming convention, basically. And it's a naming convention, but still people, you know, they hear that, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and they take it literally. And so now there's like people on the internet like searching for how to blend my inner masculine and my inner feminine together and all this kind of silly stuff, what I call pop culture spiritualism, which is fakey. You know, it's, it's kind of fakey. It's not really spiritualism. It's just kind of fakey pop culture stuff. No, guys, it's energy. It's energy. There's, there's like a push kind of energy. It pushes and then there's like a pull. P-U-L-L, -L. there's a pull energy. It, it pulls, it retracts, it backs away. It's just energy. Energy just moves to and fro. There's an ebb and flow, right? That's all it is. That's all it is. There's a light and a dark. There's a yin and a yang. There's a plus and a minus, right? That's just kind of how our universe functions. And that's really all that twin flames are. It's one soul that's been split into two polarities, right? So now you see what's really going on here and maybe now you can see the problem. It's this sense of self, this ego, this internal dialogue taking you through these ups and downs. Well, that's not who you are. You're not a personality. You're not an ego. You're not form. You're the formless eternal essence of being. That's the soul. And by the way, that's your twin flame. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You just got to do soul stuff, guys. It's really very simple indeed. Soul stuff. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. Piece of cake. Piece of fruit cake. Kind of like Divine Masculine. That shithead is causing us endless amounts of grief and consternation. Well, not mine. I would not call her that. <clears throat> I'm just being funny. Sorry. I know you're not supposed to call people names. Okay. We love Divine Masculine. I, I do. You know, right? We are love. You are one being. You are love. Everybody just is as they are. And the same is true of Divine Masculine. You just have to look at them through different eyes, through conscious eyes. Indeed, letting go of the ego. Oh my goodness! So for Divine Masculine, gonna be a baller, shot caller. Uh, 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 uh. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Divine Masculine. Very, very concerned about their physical life situation. Well, that makes a lot of sense, and that explains a lot of their motivation lately. 
you know, like why, why are they causing so much grief for the karmic and for you? Well, they, they kind of want the outside life situation, their actual physical life situation to match how they feel right off the bat. We've got the magician. Exactly. So divine masculine is coming from a place of deeper knowing and deeper being. I know who I am. Divine masculine, or I should say, sorry, I, this, that was meant for you. Divine feminine, you are the one who knows that you are being. You are consciously aware of that, okay? But that's not going to stop divine masculine from putting up a front with the karmic situation. And that could be an actual person, right? Could be a person. It could be a job. It could be the family, whatever it is for your situation. You know, take these readings. I do try to do these tarot readings as generically as possible. Generally speaking, often I'll kind of put the relationship template on the karmic situation but ultimately it could be anything, right? So what, whatever the excuse is, whatever excuse your twin flame is using to run from you, okay? So just interpret the reading in those terms. But putting up a front, um, trying to look like Mr. Man, you know, I got everything figured out. I'm in control. I know what I'm doing. I know what I want. And they freaking don't. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at how they have been towards you, recent past, towards Divine Feminine the six of wands and the moon. Exactly. I don't know what I want. I know you make me feel good and I don't know why. Well, duh. I mean, I mean, if some, look, like, why would you run away from that? What are you so afraid of divine masculine? It's a complete mystery to them. They can't even look at their own internal space. All they know is that their internal space is like a pyramid emerging from turmoil. Okay, it's like something immaculate taking place through the dust. Okay, there's all these pieces falling into place. You, on the other hand, Divine Feminine, you're keenly aware of each and every piece. It's not a mystery to you what's going on. Okay, and Divine Masculine is being forced to look at that. They're being forced to look at their trust issues that they have with their own inner space. Divine Masculine... Now, they're going to try to pull back. They think they're going to take a break from both you and the karmic situation. It isn't, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. So this is why Divine Masculine's focus is turning so keenly to the outside world. How can I get the outside world to match how I feel inside? And they're basically just running in circles, chasing their own tail. They're afraid of themselves. Okay, that's why they want to step back so bad. That's why they want to run away from everybody so bad. Okay, and towards the karmic situation, temperance in reverse, the sun. Yeah, no surprises there. So this is kind of like somebody who knows that like they party too much and they need to take a break, but they're going to do it anyway. Okay, don't be fooled by this sun card. It, you know, it's, this is kind of the way tarot is sometimes. You don't know what you're going to get unless you're looking at all the cards. This energy is modifying this temperance in reverse card. This isn't exactly a good combination to get in the context of this reading. We already know what Divine Masculine is up to. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like I think I'm doing this for fun. It's not. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They need to slow down and learn who they are first, and they're not doing it. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Again, it's like the person that parties too much. They know they need to take a break and they're not gonna. They're just gonna keep on shining. And it might be fun. It might be fun to keep doing that, but you're gonna pay the price, dude. That's going to be a, a rough one for Divine Masculine. Look at this. Okay, so towards you, Divine Feminine, the King of Cups in reverse and judgment. Exactly. So... All they have to do is just be themselves. Stop running from themselves and stop running from this connection. They already know that's all that needs to happen. Why do they run from you, Divine Feminine? Because they're running from themselves. <clears throat> that's why the King of Cups comes out in the reverse. Right, what are they afraid of? They don't even know. They're just making it up in their head. Okay, and the universe, they're gonna be shown that in their physical life situation. I don't know what's gonna happen. They're going to get caught. Maybe they're going to show up at your house and beg you to sleep with them. Okay. And you'll say yes. And then the karmic is going to storm in on you guys. Maybe 
they've been cutting out work, right? Like skipping out on work, skipping out on their job, and they keep doing that, and they're going to get caught doing that because they're not doing a good job at work. I, I, you know, well, whatever it is, okay? And that's going to be a big wake-up call for Divine Masculine, and they're going to be forced to assess their situation. Again, that's why this Ten of Pentacles comes out. They have to look at it. They're having to look very hard at themselves and at the world around them. They are the creator. That's why this magician comes out. They are the creator of their entire life situation. You know, one of my mentors once told me, your life situation is exactly the way it is because you designed it that way. Even if it's something that you think you don't like, you're the one that did it. And divine masculine, they're going to be forced to look in the mirror. Mark my words. It's going to be very painful for them. Yowza! Let's do an oracle card, guys. And as always, if you want to work with me, if you want to work with the best, you know where to find me, guys. I am the world's number one twin flame coach. Of course, my twin flame permanently in my life. I've coached over 3,000 people to do the same. Yes, you heard me right. Over 3,000 people. You can go to my website. There's a link in the description box below to go to my website. You can read testimonials from my students who are with their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs, living their life to the fullest. Guys, that's what it's all about. This is your spiritual awakening. You just have to embrace that. And if you embrace that, that's when your twin flame shows up. They unblock you, start talking to you again. You can shut down the obsessive thinking and feel amazing. And that's what you were meant for. That's what this journey is all about. This is for you to live your best life. Nothing else. Nothing else, guys. So while you're on my website, why don't you sign up for some coaching? It's not expensive. I don't charge thousands of dollars. And I, I never will. It's only a few hundred dollars and you get a ton of stuff. Guys, you get hooked up for very little money. Why do I do it that way? Why wouldn't you do it that way? Why wouldn't you do it that way? That's the way it's supposed to be. I just kind of wanted to do things the way you're supposed to do it. Over 10 hours of instructional videos that you can watch over and over and over again. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to make the necessary lifestyle changes to align permanently with your soul, which is your twin flame. It's very simple, guys. It's energy. You cannot think your way there. You're never going to figure out how to do this. It's energetic, and I will show you how to do it. The soul is consciousness. That's your twin flame. You have to create a lifestyle of being. In my instructional video course, very affordable, I will show you how to do just that. After you're done watching the videos, you and I get a talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or on my group coaching calls. Up to four calls a week, all at different times. You can talk directly to me or my two coaches assisting me. There's a secret Facebook group. Nobody can see who's in there or what we're doing in there, so you can reach us anytime you want to talk to us. There's about eight hours of live calls every week where you'll be able to talk to us, so plenty of opportunities, plenty of time to talk. You're going to find out that there's a whole bunch of people going through this journey just like you as well. No, you're not crazy. Yes, this is real. Please hop in there. Join my infrastructure. I've got this whole beautiful coaching system in place for you, and it's not expensive, guys, and that's not all. If you cannot afford my already very low prices, that's no problem, guys. I've got payment plans. You can start for around $60. $60! I'll take the total package price and break it down into six payments. You can pay me a little bit every month for the whole enchilada. I want you feeling good for as little money as possible. It's my job to raise the consciousness of planet Earth. That's what we're here to do. And I'm absolutely serious about doing that. Let's see what this Oracle card has to say today. Hey, hey, what's up, sweet Roxy? That's the name of my Oracle deck, Roxy. What you got for Divine Masculine, sweetheart? Yeah, I feel you pulling at me over here. It's definitely that one right there. Mr. or Miss Divine Masculine, abundance. <laughs> abundance. Ten of Pentacles, abundance. Right. So, 
Divine Masculine has been fighting this fight for so long internally that it's going to start showing up in their outside world. They know they deserve the best. Divine Masculine, they know they do. They absolutely know they do. They know they deserve the best life situation. So have the best life situation, dude. Come on, stop screwing around with this situation over here with this person that's not right for you. Divine Feminine awaits you. Divine Masculine, what are you doing, dude? And they're finally being honest with themselves about it. I really do deserve something that good. I deserve a life situation that's amazing. And I think it's going to happen. Fast. Abundance. The tree of life brings abundant flow into your life at this very moment. And this is why you have singularly chosen Ural's Oracle of Abundance. The core of all abundance is the source. That's right. When you totally believe in the flow of the divine nectar, the bounty of God is responding like in like measure. Develop the muscle of your faith by the positive regard of all your amazing achievements. Fill your life with gratitude for the abundance you are receiving and speak. Guys, that's so amazing. In Divine Masculine, they know it's time for planning. Okay? They want to ignore that. It's not going to work. And I give it about five minutes before this Two of Wands comes out upright for Divine Masculine. The only thing they can do is plan their next steps. This energy is coming in, whether they like it or not. They're going to have to make their life situation match what their heart is telling them. And look at this. Okay, there's the Six of Cups towards the Karmic, but the problem is it's coming out next to the Page of Pentacles. Exactly. Divine Masculine... I don't think, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be some kind of, I just, like I said, guys, I think the karmic might actually find out about you. I think they're going to find out about you, Divine Feminine. Okay, and there's going to be a fight. They're not going to be happy. Well, gosh darn it, it needs to happen. The truth needs to be told. Okay, and if that's what it's going to take to tear them away from that situation, so be it. And Divine Masculine is going to be forced to create a new life situation. And I mean, I think that's pretty obvious that's what's gonna happen. Ten of Swords in reverse next to Justice. Towards you, Divine Feminine, I'm pretty sure Divine Masculine is gonna be forced into this awakening experience with you. It's just, there's just no way of getting around it. They have to be brought together with you. And so I'm thinking probably the karmic person is going to be finding out about you, following them to your house, or, or something, or like, if nothing else, maybe it'll just be, they're going to see how they responded to your social media posts. They're going to find an old text message thread in your Divine Masculine's phone. Something is going to happen. Okay, something is going to happen where they're going to have to start being honest about that. And that's when the life situation, the physical reality is going to turn around. And then they're going to be showered with all these gifts. Don't you see Divine Masculine? If you just start living clean and honest, if you're honest with the universe, that's when all those blessings shower down on you. I think it's coming, guys. I think it's coming. So hang on tight. It's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe. Because if you don't hit the bell button, you will not get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. Also, please hit the like button, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.